another conference. Welcome to the channel and all honor, glory, and praise be to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I just wanted to come before you all shortly with a word of encouragement, a word of enlightenment, not only for yourselves, but for me as well. Welcome once again. You know, we live in a world where you're always going to have people that want to defame your characters, my brothers and my sisters. They want to taint your reputations because theirs are dirty. They want to defame your characters because they've lived um, lustful, promiscuous lives. And so they want other people to wallow with them in their sores. Don't go. Yes, I said it don't go okay so the title of this conference is called they're talking about and I'm not I'm not necessarily referring this to me I'm referring it to you all so you all can personalize it they're talking about who I am you better be worried about what I am oh let's do this come on Father God created you in his own image. In the image of God created he Adam. And he created male and female. No matter your complexions, no matter your ethnic background, you were created by the almighty God. Do you know who you are? Because in this world, people will try to place labels on you all. So do you know who you are? I mean who you really are. Not the name that your earthly mother or father or whoever gave you. But I'm talking about who God Almighty has said that you are. So you must understand brothers and sisters that you must let God be true but every man a liar. You understand what I'm saying? Because we live in a world where people want you to be who and what they want you to be. Doesn't mean you're going to be. I wouldn't be. If I were you all, I wouldn't be anybody other than who God Almighty says that I am. So folks are talking about who you are. They need to be worried about what you are. And when I say folks, I'm talking about your adversaries. Because they will try to place labels on you all. This, that, and the third. Don't ever heed the tongue of an enemy. And don't fear it either. Because just as, the, as they speak their lies, you all can speak your truths. Just as they speak their fiction, you can speak your facts. Okay? What makes their tongue more powerful than yours? Absolutely nothing. Because nobody can empower an enemy's tongue but you yourselves. By accepting their rot and accepting their vomit and the filthy things that run off of their mouths, off of their tongues about you all crying between the decay of their teeth even if physically their teeth are not decayed spiritually speaking they are rotten they are rotten in mouth they are rotten in body they are rotten in soul and they live rotted lives that's why they want you to join them in their stench don't go so they're talking about who they say you are <laughs> they need to be worried about what you are whose you are just what are you your enemies need to look at you the devil needs to look at you and say what is that because I've done everything within my power to destroy it and I can't well <laughs> that's because dummy no weapon formed against that person shall prosper get that Thank you, brothers and sisters. Join me at the next conference. That's a quick word of encouragement. I may be back later with a longer message. Bye-bye.